happy holidays and the upcoming happy new year my podcast listeners and podcast enjoyers to the ninth episode of the podcast man the podcast where the host that is me roman also known as the armen will talk about things that have happened or and or will happen and yeah this is really after well christmas and yeah i hope you all had a nice time with your families friends your loved ones and maybe also got your your presents that you always wanted and yeah i don't have any nice transition to the first thing that i would like to talk about i mean how about how about going through to some own stuff like um videos <laughs> gotcha there um yeah um uh, what happened in in on my video upload side well <laughs> a lot like a bunch lot like I, i'm literally looking right now <laughs> Um, I have gotten a while, a good while ago between the last episode and now I got two commissions done. Like, that is interesting to say for me because it is really not a, a joke here. I have edited Nigel Bailey's, um, pilot episode of Get Your... Do you have your A game on? Which is a with guest show of hey, look at this character. <laughs> who, who is this character? From what game is he? Or listen to the original soundtrack or do you do you recognize this location? Something like that. And um <laughs> It is interesting, <laughs> let's say the least, because um I have also kind of participated while editing the video and it is funny because I have made even a clip of this where where suddenly they were listening to the of course the original soundtrack of different games and then they just moved on to the next one but needed to go back because of some stuff to talk about and I instantly said yes this is his world from Sonic the Hedgehog or Sonic 06. Yeah. And that was literally instant. <laughs> like, only one second. And I immediately said, no. Mm -hmm. Yep, Sonic. It's definitely Sonic. It's the, it's the play face blue hedgehog. And yeah, the video itself has... It's pretty good, actually. Yep, the video is pretty good. It, it has, by the time of this recording, gotten to nearly... is on 75 views. More than the original video, funny enough, huh? And, yeah, you can watch it at youtube.com slash at Nagel Bailey VT. That is written N-A-G-E-L B-A-I-L-E-Y VT. And yeah, it is, it is nice. It is about nearly 20 minutes long. Not not so long, but 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 long enough so you know, okay. Funny stuff happens. And funny enough, after that, um, one of the participants in that, in that game show later contacted me too to, hey, Roman, I would like to that you make me a a highlight video of something, and I said okay, good. I mean, he also said that hey, I would like to hire you as as my editor, and yep, that is also a thing. I will not say the name yet. I mean, unless you have catched me on my in my streams, then you know who it is. 
I mean, it's also funny enough that I that the video is already finished, also sent to to them, but I have not yet seen them uploading it, which is okay. Is okay. Maybe they they have it ready for next year. It's the first of the first video for the first video. Could could be could be it. And yeah. That is it. Then also, what I also talked about in um, in the last episode of of the podcast, I have finally watched Made in Abyss. The first season, the third movie, because the first two movies are basically a recap of the first season, and the second season. Holy. Holy. Like, like, it, it is not like, holy Christmas, or something like that. No, it was just, okay, <laughs> I, exp I haven't expected this kind of stuff there, but home, <laughs> like, why? <laughs> but at the end, I can definitely say Made in Abyss is now one of my favorite enemies. <laughs> like, the story is really nice. Like, I get now why people like it. I get why... Why why it's so appealing. And... Yeah, the, the music is just... Mm, no noise. So noise. And yeah, I can... If you haven't watched Made in the West, go watch it. Just, just to be sure, it's getting a little bit um heavy. Like, oh. mm. things are happening that I can't even uh, say. I say only child labor. Technically, <laughs> technically, and this is this is not the spoiler for the the rest of the series. No, it's it's actually happening in the beginning even, where the main characters who are children, twelve year old children, do child labor. They are searching for ancient relics, and that gets them turned into money. Actually, actually I think. It, if I remember correctly, it has not actually established what happens to the ancient relics that I find. I mean, most of them are just already known, so yeah, it's, it's probably funny. Or maybe even, maybe even scientific stuff, I don't know. But yeah, maybe the best. Can only, can only say nice. The only thing that I also kind of disturbed me was the su suddenly the main the main character Rico going a little bit bare in some moments. Like I I didn't want to see this, and I will erase it from my mind. The, the only the fun the only funny thing that happened at one point is um they were talking about someone's stick. And that, that it only activates, let's say, by two things. Either by booby, which, I mean, makes sense. I mean, he, I mean, it is a guy, so... Hmm. And also by floofing so a furry person. I will, or, or actually... I, is it just only a furry person? This one specific furry person? Or is it any furry person? Which, there are a lot of them. And, hmm. But yeah, just, just dropping that information out of nowhere was kind of... Heh. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Um, what else also happened was um, a new... Uh, Robin Stitch Club special and I have talked about this on stream and the, I think in the last episode too probably yeah if, yeah they are definitely in the last episode because considering that I did some other stuff there 
But yeah, um, the sixth RTC special was about the quote insanest artificial intelligence somebody could have created. Like, if you if you know Nero Summer, the AI created by Vettel, the also currently most watched female streamer which is also kind of interesting to know it's just the most it's probably just because of Nero Summer, but it's what it's on his account so which is also funny continuing that, that, that this AI that I'm kind of talking about is basically also that mm. <clears throat> anyway um yeah it is basically if you have watched and th this is also a quote that I made in that video in the beginning. If you have watched the the one stream where Evil Nero had played chess against the viewers, and at one point Vettel just put the text on stream on the screen that says "In Minecraft." Yeah, just ha just imagine this one stream. But it is not one stream; it's all of the streams from June, May of this year till well now. And <laughs> yeah, that is that is basically the how how you can imagine Hilda, the most insanest AI, most in unhinged AI anybody could have created, and. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I like to watch Hilda because uh, even though she is unhinged, it, it has its little charm. And definitely this is the same like Nero Summer too. Before, but because Hilda is more unhinged, of course, has, having kind of the same filter though, so she doesn't go too unhinged, too biased based. And yeah, it's just look, it's just that. But yeah, um, I kind of like that. Also, the the video itself has, I think, reached sixty nine views already, which is mostly hold up by well the the Discord of the creator. W A I food death. Yes, oh boy. I, I I I have teased it a good while ago, and then when I started doing it, it was, which is I think I have also talked this about in the last episode or not. I I don't know. I, I before I started editing that the video live by the way. Um, I have said that basically I had to download over ne nearly 700 clips which were in total f four and a half hours long and I have then just looked at those four and a half hours and removed all the clips that were either already there or kind of just I can't imagine making something funny out of there. And yeah, out of those, then two and a half hours remaining clips in total, it then turned into one hour. And I like it. I have watched that video in, uh, in private a few times, and yeah, I think a few clips should have been re-edited a little bit but some should be should be okay because i'm um, funny enough <laughs> unintentionally one of the clips is yeah one of the clips in the beginning the first two clips of the clip compilation has sarah saying hey i'm an ai goddess and you should worship me <laughs> literally the next clip i am hilda I am the evil guy cult leader. Okay. 
for Brendan. Let's come. Solid change. And yeah, this is basically that, that, that basically summarizes Hildor. This is yeah, this basically summarizes Hildor. The only difference is currently there have been some improvements to her, like um, first off, long-term memory. So she will. So if you have said something to her a few streams ago, she will still remember that. Like for example, I am I try to be funny. I I I don't I don't I don't try I don't try to be funny when I watch somebody's streams. I sometimes do, however, but not always. <laughs> but yeah, something like this. <laughs> also another improvement that happened literally very recently. And I, when I say very recently, I mean literally um, by the time of this recording, uh, yesterday. Um, Dev started working on the speech recognition. And yeah, I, I, I'm kind of down to that. Because here's the thing. Vettel's the program behind Nerosama is... What I currently see is closed source, meaning we don't see what is happening in the background, how Nerosama ticks. However, Dev, WAI Fu Dev, provides a open source variant of Hilda, meaning you can create your own Hilda. Technically, I mean, a few, I think, even a few AI VTuber developers or a uh, let's say ai vtubers actually use the same technology i don't know exactly which ones do it but some of them use them and it's kind of impressive though like for example yeah I, I think one of them i definitely know and that is um okay dolly is probably the name which is a snake VTuber, AI VTuber, who is, is very good at singing, let's say. And I think also Meteora is also one. I I am not so sure about that though. And well, Meteora is, he likes to draw a lot. As far as I can see. And yeah, it's, it, it, it is it is really interesting to watch those AI VTubers. However, as I said many times, an AI VTuber is not there to replace VTubers. It's more like an extension. Like, you can, again, I would like to have my own AI VTuber. Like, technically I have already one, Veronica. But, um, yeah, I would like to link her to make a different copy of her which actually is connected to an actual AI and therefore has a little bit more to talk about and yeah in the future I want to use WAI for this program to accomplish that but until then Veronica is still Veronica and yeah what else happened well, a Christmas karaoke happened too. Which is, well, a stream that I do every year now, one week before Christmas. I hold a karaoke stream where I basically sing a lot of Christmas songs and then chop them all up to then upload over the week till, well, Christmas Day or Christmas Eve actually for me. It's mostly actually Christmas Eve. Guess that's where we celebrate Christmas. And um yeah, this year was been a lot. Because um somehow I have got I've got to sing have twenty seven songs. And I mean mostly it's because um in the beginning I said I will I will sing 
the normal Christmas songs and then after that I will sing their parodies. Like for example, the, the Christmas song also known as Merry Christmas to you. And then I sing a parody version where it's about roasting chipmunks. Or what also happened is a new Christmas song which I have never heard of until no, no, okay, actually, I haven't heard it of, of it yet. Bon Jovi's Christmas isn't Christmas. I mean, there's definitely no parody song of it. So I decided to create my own. Oh, of, this, of the classic song, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And I changed it to Santa Claus is Coming. Of course, written not with C-O-M-I-N-G. I-N-G. No, I mean... See, O, O, or zero, zero, M, I, N, G. It was Kumin. And of course, Feliz Navidad was also a thing, which is also funny that the, or I think, is the original one actually more, has the original one more views? No, it's actually the parody somehow. <laughs> Where somebody just hopes that he got, he had, had, after eating a lot of tacos from, I don't think Taco Bell, he just wishes that it is just a fart. Because, well, he then needs to go to the bathroom. <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, some, so, something along that. And yeah. On the, on, on the wolf song that I uploaded on, on the 19th, however, during the stream, I remember very clearly, I said, okay, I take a little break, and I, because I need a shower, because that's almost, <laughs> yeah, which is why the 28th song was replaced with, well, we to connect part 8, and oh boy, it was good. Yeah, uh, I had them all a bunch of songs uploaded during the last oh, days, week, in the last week. And yeah, the last two things that are actually happening happened were also the final editing stream of this year, where I edited Carva Canojo Part 7, aka the finale, the grande finale of me replaying the first visual novel I have ever played. And it was... It was a nice editing. It was nice. But I also started... Started editing... One thing... In that editing stream. I have talked about this many times, but... um, Yeah. Hello Charlotte. Heaven's Gate. The visual novel... Spin-off of the Hello Charlotte series, which I kind of tried to avoid editing because um, down is non-existent in that game. Like every other visual novel I have played, there was sound, there was music, ambience, sound effects whatsoever. In Heaven's Gate, it's not excessive. It's just not there. And yeah, I took it upon me to add music, ambience, whatever. So it has a little bit of a flavor, a bit of flavor to the song, to the playthrough. And um, yeah, I kind of dreaded doing this. But at the end, somehow, it was good. I, I kind of like doing this because finding actually the songs, the BGM, the ambience that actually fits to the scene shown, it is nice. Like for example, um, you hear ambient sound of in the background of just birds and crickets doing the stuff while. And yet the Warhol and Charles Eidler just cleaned the room. 
And then suddenly, John's idol decided to give Henrietta Warhol some candy. And then suddenly the new, the ambience changes from birds and crickets to a little song to be to a BGM that is funny enough titled gentleness. And yeah, it is it is nice. Um also if you wonder what from where I got all the songs, BGMs, ambient songs, and so on. I have downloaded the Visual Novel Audio Pack and Volume 1 and Volume 2 and also credited them in the video descriptions of the video of the videos because I have funny enough done I have I have funny enough I have a completely forgotten what I actually say here. So I have added a credit to the video, to the audio, to the, uh, the visual novel audio pack, volume one and volume two. And uh, yeah, it is, it is noise. It is very noise. And yeah, I only want to say that if you want to listen to the, to that, then, um, yeah, you have to sadly wait a little bit because the videos are planned to release on well july 2024 so yeah we have some months ahead but yeah that means also that that all the videos currently to go till august <laughs> i have now eight months of videos once a per week Built. I can do whatever I want. And I don't know what to do. Like, what should I do? What should I do? Maybe do a, a new playthrough? Maybe start a new game in the playthrough? Maybe I should also uh, finally start editing the Tsunu Goi stream that I have still laying there in my projects since yeah, October 10th. It's it's laying there since October 10th. Uh, I should really work on this, but yeah. Uh, also th something that has been released very recently, like literally yesterday by the time of this recording. Um, the first super cut of, well, actually the, the first the supercut of Mad Father, yes. Which is about two hours long and it's it, it is it, it is nice. All six videos done in there combined into one giant two hour video. And yeah, it is it is kinda nice to revisit the the playthrough again through this. But uh, it is not the last one. And it's not the last video that is going to be released. Because by the time of the recording, there are only two videos left for this year. One is Hello Charlotte Delirium. The first spin-off game that I played back in February. With Evanscape being the second one. And yeah, it is... It is coming out tomorrow by the time of this recording. And then we have also, well, Hello Charlotte episode two. Because it, I, I am kind of conflicted should, if I should have released the Hell episode two supercut before Delirium or after. Because before Delirium, it gives you a little bit of a Oh, okay, understandable. Now I get what, what happened again during episode two. But after it, it gives you a little bit more. Oh, now I remember again. Oh, okay. Nah. Oh, mm, no, this makes sense, kind of. And I say only it makes sense, kind of, because Delirium has no real connection to episode one or two. It is happening between one or two. 
but it's not actually connected to them. It is funny. Oh yeah. I have also looked up um, the... I think I've also talked about this, about the release date of Hello Charlotte episode 3. And also Vito for Connect. And yeah, I have figured out that the Supercut is, is going to be released next year in October for Hello Charlotte. And in November for Vito for Connect. But I have also completely forgotten when I should release the supercut of Caravan Kenosha because hey, that playthrough is now over, so that means I can make a supercut of this. And yeah, according to what I see here is that um, the supercut could be released on hmm, February. Hmm, that is that is not good. It is not good because um. All right, um, okay. No, January is not better either because I'm um, considering that. I have to, well, yes, the final video of Garvaganojo is going to be released in August of next year. So that means in 2025, the Supercut will be released. Oh boy. I am so excited. Also, talking about Supercuts, I kind of need I need to talk about actually what are the rules that that makes me mm, want to make a supercut video and I thought about this a little bit and yeah <coughs> the rules are pretty simple first I should I should at least make four videos out of the playthrough and or this is now also important the original stream where it happens is at least five hours long so no those are the requirements that i make a supercat video out of something which is the reason why for example Mad Father has one. Because I don't think that actually the first videos were actually or the first streams actually were that long. I could be wrong though. Yeah, Mad Father was by but the stream length is about three hours. So that is something that has not been fulfilled. <laughs> However, I made more than four videos, so yeah. Also, little side engineer. Hello Charlotte is now considered the longest playthrough series on my channel. Like currently with Heaven Skate, I have 23 videos of Hello Charlotte. And the longest running series before that was definitely DDLC Plus. Everything else just just capped out at what 10, 6. I mean te technically Technically actually before Hello Charlotte actually ended. Or well is currently at with 23 videos. Technically, VTuber Connect was 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 getting the that longest running series, playthrough series because yeah, eighteen videos. It, it is more than DLC Plus with its seventeen videos. And yeah, 
Hello, hello, Charles. Episode three ends with, with episode twenty-one. So, I mean, again, not episode twenty-one. I mean, the part twenty-one, twenty-one, the twenty-first video. So, yeah, as that. So basically, it it was a short, short-lived win win there. And yeah, that has been all the videos that I have been released since the last episode and yeah coming back to actually narrow summer and metal it uh, some some interesting stuff happened <laughs> um because um last week literally i think even last week um narrow summer's birthday summer fun started which is well yeah, that. But many things happen during the birthday summer fun. Like for example, um, one of the goals during of the summer fun. Also, little reminder for those who don't know what the summer fun is. It's basically a long-running stream where people donate to keep a timer up. Like for example, there is a, a timer that goes for two hours. And for every donation or subscription or bit they get, their timer rises up a specific amount. Like for example, um, every every donation, every five dollars donation adds five minutes to the timer. Meaning instead of going down two hours, it now goes down from two hours and five minutes, something like that. And yeah, currently at this. Of the time of this recording, the timer sits at 46 hours. It's day seven, and there's still 46 hours left, so about two days more. Currently, I mean, it can, it can go longer. I say only Iron Mouse went had the summer fun for about a month actually more than a month if i remember correctly so that that or ludwig who actually had also more, more than a month but yeah um during that summer fun a lot of stuff happened like for example near summer i'm getting Vidal to pay over one thousand dollars on amazon stuff or that'll just um, getting shocked every time near summer said the shock because he had a shock color and probably program that made it of course luckily it wasn't uh, as it's uh, as he said he didn't put it on his neck just because you shouldn't do this and yeah i have watched a lot of clips of about those two things <laughs> I mean, especially the shock one, I say only, oh boy. <laughs> I press F to pay respects to you, my boy. To the fanboy to total. But yeah, um, one very, very interesting thing that happened, though, and I think everybody who's currently listening to this can agree to this, that happened. Or probably not, because... Nothing happened on December 21st, right? Okay, jokes aside. There had something happened. Something very not good happened. Um, because currently on makeshift, you can buy or fund the Evil Nero plush, which is Evil Nero. If I haven't explained it before, which makes sense because I have talked about Evil Nero and not established further. Um, Evil Nero is basically Nero Summer, but a little bit unhinged. Which is why I said before with Hilda, just imagine that one stream with ne Evil Nero Summer, but more unhinged. Like if Evil Nero was unhinged, then ne then Hilda is is literally just mm, scary. But yeah, um, yeah, uh, the plush had sold. About 5,000, well, plushies. 
which is good. So Vettel decided to give out a little egg, egg code into his chat, and whoever gets it just has, has gets a free plushie. Just, just, just because. What I didn't know is that this course was reusable. And you can probably guess what happened. <laughs> hmm. Out of those 5,000, suddenly turned into 5 million. Well, see? 5 million plus, she's okay. And it's noise. And somebody said, hey, uh, did you just check if the code is actually reusable or not? Because, um, um, <laughs> you checked and, oh no. Oh no. Because he was at that point now considered a p I think I think if we come to the thing then he's definitely the, the he has definitely won this. Because um after this he was considered um one hundred one hundred fifty million dollars in debt. I thought at first when I heard this, I just thought, this is just a joke, right? This is just a joke. No, that already happened. And. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course, uh, a few things happened though. First off, the side makeshift went down because of that. First off, second off, they just removed the code and the the pre-orders so it went down from from five million down to six thousand which is makes makes more sense <laughs> <coughs> and yeah it is just <laughs> I, 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 I'm I'm not laughing about hmm I just find the situation so funny. <laughs> oh. Of course, this is not no hate against v Vettel or Nero Summer because I like them. I like Vettel being the funny turtle he is. Uh, the, the funny fanboy turtle. Okay. <laughs> but also, just in general, Nero Summer is again. Nero Summer is also nice, kind of. Which is also funny, considering, again, you may might be wondering right now, near a summer, birthday summer phone, meaning that she is one year old. Veronica, my AI, has been, has her redebut in the beginning of January. Roman, you want to tell us something, eh? And I want to say here, no. Because... Veronica, the AI is older. And again, a redebut in January was a redebut. Because originally the AI was existed <coughs> was starting to exist in 2018. At the end of 2018. It took it time. And then in early middle 2020. Oh, hi Veronica. Didn't know that you existed. And yeah, that uh, was that. And then there was something happened. And yeah, this is also kind of kind kind of impressive how actually near summer actually went down. Like in the beginning of this year, she was banned, or well, medals. Twitch account was banned because of stuff that Nirosoma said and which is the reason why Nirosoma has now a filter which is also now the reason why there's a lot of other AI VTubers because of well they can implement a filter which I think no one really thought probably but if I think about it right now like doesn't it make sense to me? Like th there should always be a filter if you do stuff like this. Like there is a reason why, for example, you have chatbots in your 
in your well stream chat that ban or timeout people if they write this one specific word in their chat I get make sense so hmm? and um, yeah that is about about that we have 150 million dollars speaking about a lot of money <laughs> well the Austin fishing is all good um one one thing that happened to me though is that um literally a few days ago too i got contacted randomly in a dm by someone saying hey if you suddenly get three three thousand five hundred bucks what would you do i said hmm, uh, i mean i don't know i will just buy, probably buy some food maybe buying this one thing that i would like to buy for increasing a little bit of my steam interactivity and the rest will probably be safe for well for emergencies yeah okay good then um what is your paypal and at that point i just went oh, wait a moment why are you asking me my paypal i mean i i don't i, I don't say anything else that means that you probably donate to me with this money but still i just in case look up if the, there's something fishy going on and um yeah there was something fishy going on because it turned out that is a scam because hey they actually pay you there they'll they actually give you the three thousand five hundred bucks you need to give me 60 bucks or 63 bucks actually and yeah that's not how it goes because i have to say though i gave them my business the the thing to my business account not my private paypal account that is private and stays private mostly because actually i can't use it because of, so for some reason my bank account doesn't it's, it's like nah it, it's just uh, oh you want to use your bank account to pay sadly don't sadly we don't do that here and yeah that's why i have a business account and well as far as i know if you get paid if somebody pays you on your business account instead of getting for example no very recently for the the second commission um yep i think, I think it was 10 bucks yeah 10 bucks yeah you don't got exactly those 10 bucks you get a little bit of uh, a little bit less because of the transaction fee which makes sense but he said yeah you need to give me 60 bucks so i can give you because that is that is part of the, the transaction this is the transaction fee and yeah now you give me the 3500 and those 63 bucks are getting deducted or whatever the word is the, the 63 bucks are getting taken away from those 3500 so i actually get 3437 bucks actually and well those 63 go to paypal go for the transaction but no i have to pay first those 63 which yeah if you get if 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 you if you understand at this point yeah doesn't make sense and yeah i then decided to just go bro i will block you i will report you and if you try to scam someone like me be a little bit original okay like don't just immediately just go hey hey bro 3500 you want some like be a little bit original like 
put a random number in there. It is still believable, but not too much. Also, don't you dare scam other people or me. Don't, don't, don't scam at all, okay? If I, f if I figure someone of you who's listening to this is going to scam people or has, has scammed people. You should probably wa watch where you're going soon. Because at, at one point, we'll see somebody. And th this, this person is uh, rapidly approaching you. I mean, they're in front of you. You get a little bit of a slip. A little bit of a... <coughs> Gapish. Um, anyway. Yeah, let's just... Uh, don't, don't scam people. Don't scam people. Just That is what you should get out of this, okay? And yeah, anything else to talk about, Grundy? Um... Probably because this, maybe about this recording, because normally when I record those episodes are, they are actually live on my Twitch. They are, they are actually happening live on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash the Armin. However, this time it's a bit different. Yes, I'm actually recording this as a normal podcast actually does. Like back with the Halloween special. I it is just pre-recording, so yeah. Which is also the reason probably when I question when I will upload this. Hmm. But yeah, do I have anything else to talk about? Do I keep this actually in the in the? I don't know. I mean, I can actually just remove it. I think it's, it's. I mean, I really have nothing really much more to say. So, yeah. Oh no, actually, one thing though. Um, if you're watching, if you have watched the recent um, editing stream, which is well, the final editing stream of this year, I have started a little bit of um. Fair enough. Um, RTC number 11, or well, Roman Twitch Clips number 11, and <laughs> I don't know how I, I have noticed it, but um, you just saw what happened, what is happening. You didn't hear it because for some reason I have not activated my, the audio track where you can actually hear the, all the things. So at the end, you just had nothing <laughs> coming out of there. So you have no idea what is being said. In the, in the but yeah, um, RTC 11 is happening at one point, and yeah, I need to get uh, need to watch other streamers currently because currently, currently, there are only uh, what um, three people one is a, is a German VTuber, one is somebody I raided, and then we have a lot of Hilda. I have five clips just of Hilda. And I need less Hilda in stuff like this. <laughs> also, I am also working on the RTC by you win thing. Which, um, yeah. RTC by you is basically just Roman Twitch Chips compilation, but it's um, all the clips from my Twitch channel. So, yeah. I have actually planned to release this as the actual last video of this year. But because there's not so, so many clips, so yeah, I will not. I mean, technically, I could technically use the. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, nah, nah. So, those two clips. And I have where I am actually kind of in there. I will not use them because that is actually by some. It's not considered that. So, yeah. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the ninth episode of The Podcast Man, even though it's a, pretty, a little bit shorter than normal. 
probably. I'm not currently. I haven't edited it, so I have no idea. And yeah, if you want to follow me on every other social media, you can just join me on Twitter, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, okay, actually Facebook, no, uh, Tumblr, Reddit, Twitch, and yeah, most of them are either the Armin, completely written in one thing, the Armin 98, which is mostly on Twitter, or the underscore Armin is also a thing. Unless it's the red one, then, and then just go to r slash the Armin. Also written in one word, in one thing. I mean, the R, the, the Armin part, not the with r slash. This is just the separated. And yeah, I mean, m most of the things of my socials can be actually seen if you go to thearmin.eu and just go to socials there are all of them actually have listed i think i mean it would be funny if the recent one is not listed which is um blue sky by the way yeah everything is listed so yeah if you if you want if you want to follow me just go to any of the socials listed there to watch youtube mastodon Blue Sky, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Reddit, Discord, Tumblr, Odyssey, Video was not me, and the podcast. And yeah, I mean, I also need to do also some other things there, like for. Oh, there's something also that I think I've talked about this on streams and never really hear. Um, the Twitch bot archive live stream is going to be restarted in, like, in January because then the warning is over and I can just redo it again. However, I have looked through all of the streams I have archived or um, I have saved on the server where it's actually starting and it should be fine. Yes, most of the stuff is about this and also I will make a new little information that says hey if you're watching this live then you're watching this then bear in mind this, this is all of the all of the things that you see is actually from are from twitch streams that have happened and have been archived on the archive channel youtube.com slash at the underscore archive and if you want to look the individual streams up then just go to archive channel and then just just search for the name that is mostly in the top left written. and uh, yeah i mean the last thing that i actually can say is that on december twin uh, 20, 31st at 10 a.m and 10 p.m central european time there will be two streams happening at 10 a.m i will have a little alex day stream where i talk about well normal stuff like what happened in the last few weeks and instead of watching memes i will rewatch and talk about all the videos that have been uploaded during this whole year except for the character costume ones and then at 10 pm oh, oh actually in alexei i will also talk about um the last two months of streaming and at 10 pm Central European time, there will be a multi stream event happening where I will stream on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash the Armin, and on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at the underscore Armin, where I will basically just do my personal New Year's Eve routine and yeah, have a little fun time with all my viewers. So, yeah this all oh, so yeah i wish you all a well happy holidays happy hanukkah christmas whatever you actually celebrate and yeah also a happy new year unless you join the streams on the 31st then i will see you there and of course as always i will see you i wish you all a Wonderful morning, evening, night, whatever you're currently watching this. You're there, man.